Here we go. <laughs> it wouldn't be a J, J video without a clap in the front. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your man, Just Jay Sama. I'm back with another video that you didn't ask for on some shit that only 16 people care about on this channel. So um, today, uh, well, I guess yesterday, a new Assassin's Creed Valhalla DLC trailer dropped literally as I dropped my video yesterday. So, of course, I had to naturally make a video to that. Um, so we're going to actually watch that. And there's gameplay of it. So that's going to be pretty interesting, I guess. Um, <laughs> I say this only because the game has been out for a while. I wasn't expecting an expansion at all. I think it's free. So we're going to take a look at some of the, the comments and stuff like that. So let's take... Look well, the forward. game still looks good. Look back. So... They did update the directions. character models, though, so I'm super happy about that. They a new power. Is hold on, hold on. This is very serious. So Ubisoft, I was going through the Reddit, right, and a lot of people, a lot of their comments before I even saw this video, I was reading a lot of the comments in Reddit, and they, a lot of people have noticed that they updated the character models ever so slightly, and they look a little bit better, and they function a little bit better. I am personally so happy to see that because Ubisoft always seems to have ugly ass character models for some reason. I don't understand it. I've never understood it, but hopefully they get better and better. I that's just what I like to see. So rising in Francia. What kind of power? It is the Franks. There is a sickness in them. Charles the Fat has begun a slow march against the Norse villages there. I must stop this mad king from sending war across the sea. Okay. The Raider Siegfried is almost at our gates! And what does he want? Blood and silver! Yours and mine! I am a king! You are a scourge. I am called to cleanse. Oh my god. Okay, so How this obviously takes place after the main story. Day. You want me to join your side against these Franks? There is no side. There is only blood debt and vengeance and Helheim for those I split with my axe. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. It just looks like more Valhalla. I, 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 maybe there are some other people that are like, hey. This is directly connected to Assassin's Creed Unity somehow. And it's like, okay, so. Your army will never take Paris. And you will never have peace. The devil has hold of your thoughts, your hearts, your very bodies. Choose this day whom you will serve, for judgment Ooh. is coming. <laughs> oh, I didn't know they were going to do all that. Oh, with the rat? Huh? I embrace you, demon. Available August 12th. Boys and girls, that's tomorrow. <laughs> this is tomorrow. This is literally, when I upload this video, this is already probably going to be out. So I'll stream it. I'll stream it today. At the, at the time of the release of this video, I'm going to stream it today. So check that out. Twitch.tv slash JustJSama. There's a link in the description. Let me see. Finally, some. You know what I've also noticed? A lot of people talking shit about the French accents and stuff like that. And they're like, finally, a game that takes place in France where they have French accents. I was like, I didn't realize y'all cared about that so much. That's so weird. That's that's so weird. <laughs> oh, this guy put Ratatouille, the new <laughs> the new world order. <laughs> AC Unity prequel looking fire. See, I'm seeing a lot of people say that. Maybe I need to... Maybe I actually need to play through Valhalla. Assassin's Creed, Rise of the Rats. <laughs> Either way, I guess I have to play through the game, so... Um, I'm fairly excited about that. Now, they also put out this video, which is uh, gameplay missions and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and peep this for a second. <laughs> Oh, I need to turn that quality up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Time out, time out, time out, time out. Time, 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 time out. The highest you can give me? Welcome to Paris, romance capital of the world. I gotta turn this down. The 9th century. 
In picturesque Frankia, you can take in the sights along the Seine, where you'll find poppy-covered hillsides. Oh, that's a dope-ass sight. Churches, rats, flooded streets, more rats, overflowing sewers choked with the bodies of plague victims, and rats. But so what if the future City of Lights is going through a bit of a rough patch right now? Chaos breeds adventure and rats. I get it. I get it. There's rats. Stop reminding me. Including I have a feeling rats are the only new thing in the game. <laughs> when you land on Frankia's shore, the Siege of Paris teams Eivor up with raiders Siegfried and Toka, who are at war with the forces of King Charles the Fat, and gradually oh train them to this... grow from a Yo, this site is crazy. But Eivor's real concern isn't riches or rebellion, it's keeping Charles's grasping hands away from England. That conspiracy is linked to one of the Siege of Paris's biggest features, infiltration missions. Descended from the black box assassinations of Assassin's Creed Unity and Assassin's Creed Syndicate, these open-ended missions give you a target and set you loose in a heavily guarded area to find your own path to the kill. You have a few options here. If you're a confident fighter and you want to cut to the chase, you can try to just batter your way through the guards. That's not going to be for me, you man. You can poke around the church's perimeter to probe for sneaky weaknesses. Or you can do what I did and find a more elegant and loot-filled path by hitting up the local tavern for clues. You have a good crowd. There's a sad drunk crying about his missing daughter and a couple of carousing soldiers who left their orders to find a runaway scribe just sitting out on the table. Both of these clues led me down into the sewers and into the path of a bunch of rats, which I was able to twist to my advantage. One route led me to a key to an unguarded gate at the what back the of the churchyard. The other gave me a password that not only let me through the front door, but ensured all the guards left me alone. Either one of these by itself would have been enough to let me in, though. Once inside the church, the next step was to start talking to people. They told me about something- Wait a minute! Hold up! You mean to tell me this man was able to choose which route he wanted to do? And it drastically affected gameplay? The key to an unguarded- This is pretty sick! I I'm pretty sure Valhalla is not the only game that lets you do that, but this is the first time I've seen it on display like this. So Either one of these by itself would have been enough to let me in, though. They told me about something called Deliverance, which sounded really unpleasant, and they gave me a cool robe for disguising myself as a member of the Bellatoris Day. Oh, this was neat. my ticket. Some Assassin's Creed 2 stuff. Deep beneath the church, where I was free to charge in for an epic boss fight, take him out the old fashioned way. Ooh! Or slip past his guards, take my place for a special ceremony, and jam Ooh. neighbors under his chin <laughs> for a dramatically gruesome kill. Oh my god. A quick search of Engelwyn's chambers yielded a wicked scythe, a new weapon type that makes for a grim visual compliment to the expansion's gloomy new Reaper armor. As well oh. as clue talks will fail, the city will burn, and Eivor will be one of the first to storm its gates in an explosive, action-filled climax. And there's I think this guy just spoiled the whole thing for me. After the siege itself, I think he just spoiled the whole thing. Stick bombs to enemies, afflict illnesses that may Guys, does this seem like he just spoiled the whole thing? I'm confused. Make bystanders flee, and even summon your very own rat swarms. Subscribe to this channel for more on That's a lot of goddamn things. That's a lot of goddamn platforms. They up they uploaded this August 11th today. <laughs> so, I'm not going to lie. An expansion is cool. Um it being part of the season pass, I feel like this should have been something that's free, but you know, obviously this is extra stuff that they worked on that is post game. So, I guess I have to finish the game. Do I have to finish the game before I, I play this? I'm going to assume you do have to finish the game, though. Or, actually, it should be something completely separate. I don't know. I, mm, all of the Origins and Odyssey DLC that I remember was part of the game. And I think there was only one or two, three, one or two DLC packs that were like... Or, I guess, content packs that were post-game. So, 
we'll have to try it out. I made sure, I don't know about you guys, but I went ahead and I made sure to download Assassin's Creed Valhalla just in case, because I'm going to try it out tomorrow. Well, I guess technically today on stream, but let me know you guys' thoughts down below. I'm very interested to know how many, of, oh, I have to put in the two-step. Yeah, no, we're definitely not looking at that. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Is this something that you're interested in? If you don't already have the season pass for Assassin's Creed Valhalla, uh are you considering getting it now if you don't even have assassin's creed valhalla which i assume a lot of people don't this game is kind of mid uh <laughs> i'm not gonna lie to you it's just it's not the best but it's not the worst either odyssey is probably closer towards the bottom than this thing but does watching this make you kind of interested in the game me personally if i had never seen any Assassin's Creed title whatsoever, and I saw this, I'd be like, oh, that's kind of cool. How much is it? <laughs> like, that's that's how that conversation would go. But I'm interested to know you guys' thoughts and opinions down in the comments section. Make sure to please let me know. Uh, give today's video a like if you enjoyed. Also, guys, once again, I'm live streaming Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays on twitch.tv slash justjsama, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But until then, I will see you guys next time. Make sure to keep it canon.